Hi everyone, I'm Catherine Weaver and in this video I'm going to show you how I use Tablet Weaving Draft Designer to input and work out the turning sequence for a draft that I've designed. I've drawn this out on graph paper to start with, with pencil, just because I find it easier to design that way. Now I've got 20 pattern tablets, but I want to have three salvage tablets on each edge, so I'm going to go for 26 tablets in total. And let's go for 20 picks as well. There we go. So currently everything is all threaded in the same direction and all black, but let's change that. Now I'm going with green as my accent colour or motif colour, as this is going to be a botanical themed draft. In fact, it's hopefully going to be uh, branches and leaves. So I'm going to change the threading direction of two of the salvage tablets so that I get that zigzag effect, S, Z, S, Z, and so on. And I do that because I find that it helps to balance the twist better across the width of the band. So when I take the um, band off the loom, it's a lot less likely to start to coil up around itself. Now, I think I, I was going to thread half of the pattern tablets in one direction and half in the other, but I think I'm going to stick with all in the same threading direction. Now, normally, if I was weaving a band without a lot of turning direction changes, I would alternate the threading, but there's going to be quite a lot of uh, changes in direction in the turning diagram, so that should help to even out any twist differences across the width of the band. Oh, that one ought to be green. I'm setting this up in one by three diagonals, so that means I've got a one thread wide diagonal line and a three thread wide diagonal line. And the one thread wide is going to be forming the motif that we're dealing with here. And I've also included a tablet on either side of the pattern tablets that carries just white. And I find that helps the motif to stand out a bit better. Okay, right. On with drafting. So first, I think I'm going to put in leaf here and I've turned the background turn saturation down so the backward turn saturation down to zero here just because I find it easier to see what's going on and I will turn that back up when I come to weave this and I got a diamond shape in there and Ooh, this needs to go in the other direction. And I'll have another leafy bit here, I think. Okay, moving on up. I don't want that there. I think I do want another one here. So I haven't rehearsed this. This is just me working this out in real time. And let's see, I do want that. I don't want that. Okay, moving on up a bit. Uh, that needs to connect there and that needs to disconnect there. And I'll connect that one up. That one goes all the way across. And there is quite a lot of talking to myself as part of this process. But uh, for me, that's fairly normal. Okay, let's have another leaf there. So this is starting to show me where the pattern repeat is going to be. So how many picks it's going to take to weave this. 
So let's go with there. So anytime I don't want to have green threads, I will click on the green threads. Anytime I so here, for example, this pair of threads, I'm going to click there and there, and that changes the turning direction and disappears them. Let's see, I don't want those two either, but I do want them to be here. Yeah, that's working nicely. Okay, and let's see, let's have another leafy bit there. And yeah, this is definitely coming together. Ah, let's move that one. Have another opening that leaf there. Okay, so let's see. Not completely happy with that bit at the top yet. So let's see about that. Ah, that's where that ought to be. Okay, right. I think I'm pretty happy with that. It represents what I've got on my piece of paper in front of me. So the next job is to work out where the pattern repeat stands. So how long the pattern repeat is, how many picks it's going to take me to weave the whole thing. And this is quite important because if you have, say, it repeats after eight picks, but you have isolated 10 picks as your pattern repeat, after you've woven those first 10 picks, the next ones, when you come back down to the bottom of the turning diagram, are not actually going to look like what you've designed because the tablets won't be in the right starting position. So let's see. Let's have three repeats. Uh, and I'm going to keep adding to the pattern repeat length until I get something that matches what I want. Ooh, this is not working very well. <laughs> hmm. Ah, nope, there it is. There we go. So we have a 16 pick pattern repeat. So that means that I can reduce the turning diagram down to 16. And if I scroll to the side, I can show you. There we go. Yeah, I am pretty happy with that. So the last job is to name it. I'm going to call this one Branches. I might change the name later. We'll see. And I will save a copy of it. There we go. Right. I, I hope this was useful for you and helps you when you're coming up with your own designs and inputting them. So thank you for listening and goodbye.